So hey guys, today's video is going to be on how to set up a tank or enclosure for your Russian tortoise. So as you just saw, I have um, already put the substrate, reptile carpets, and timothy hay inside of their cage. So um, here it is. This is two Zuma tortoise houses. It's a very nice enclosure. Um, as you can see, it's um, I haven't cleaned it, so it's got a bunch of food scampered around everywhere. But this is just how to set one up. So basically for the bedrooms, all you really need is some deep substrate, two of the hay, and they're cool. So we don't have to worry about these. Okay, so for the inside, uh, these are all of my supplies, along with these, these, and these. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with placing the water dishes. So since my water dishes are big, I have a very nice money-saving tip. Just scoop out the substrate. Um, wherever you're going to put your water bowl, just move the substrate away. It saves substrate so you don't have to put as much in, and it's nice. It gives your tortoise more room. I mean, and what's really the point? Of it. So here's my big water dish. This is the repti, repti ramp for tortoises. So I put that in and now I just surround it with substrate. La la la! So that's my bowl in and I'm going to do the same thing for my second bowl. I'm going to clear a little area for the bowl and over here this is my second reptile bowl. Sorry, there's construction going on outside. But here's my second reptile bowl. It's just as big as my hand. It's good for them just to drink. They like to get into it too, but mainly for drinking. So I put that in. I take my scooper or a shovel, you know. You can use your hands. I like using a scooper because it's just, for me, easier. Okay. So now that the water dishes are in, we can put the food dishes in, which are over here. So here's my food. I already put the food in here. I'm not going to waste the food or anything. So here we go. I'm just going to place it right on top. And you can do the same thing. You can clear a little pathway for them, like clearing. I like to do that, but I'm just going to like rub it. So yeah, um, now that... Of all of the basics are in. We can put in their cuddle bones. As you can see, they my tortoises do eat these. Cuddle bones. So I'm gonna put their cuddle bones right here. Oh, there's a lot of substrate here. Anyways, I'm gonna put their cuddle bones right here. And you, um, normally with animals like guinea pigs, you want to change up their enclosure, but don't do that. Tortoises don't cope well with change. So then I'm going to put their two basking rocks in. And as you can see, my basking rocks have these little pegs. So I'm going to race. So I'm going to put a little substrate around it, around the side, so that way he can get up easier. And I'm going to put this a little to the side so they have basking area. So yeah, that's the basking rocks. Next I'm going to put in their fake plant. This is just an exoterra plant. I like it because it's high off the ground and they can't eat it. So I'm just gonna create a little room so it doesn't fall and bury it. Next, oh, well that's it for over here. I'm gonna put this away, I don't need you anymore. Next, I'm going to put in these two things. First of all, this is just a fake plant that I like to put in here. It's just a little pretty plant. And then I have this thermometer to measure their um, basking spot temperature, which is right here. Won't stick onto the side, so I just put it on the ground. They're fine with it. And uh, yeah, that's the basic setup on the inside. So now you can just close your things, lids, whatever, and you can put your lights on. 
So, um, this is a Desert Series Zilla Light um, UVB bulb. It just, when you open it, make sure not to touch it. And it makes that beautiful glow. And I've got a second one as well, so that way they have two UVB lights on either side of their aquarium. Well, not aquarium. Enclosure. And then I've got this tiny basking bulb, spot bulb, which I just flip on like that. So now that your enclosure is all set up, all you have to do is put your little tortoises in. So here's Boris. This is my first Russian tortoise I ever got. I've had him for almost a year now. Uh-oh, wait before you put your tortoises in. Jeez, I'm so stupid. Put in the water into your bowls. I'm gonna do that now. You can see me put the water in. Lucky you. So here's my tortoise water bottle. So I'm just gonna slightly raise this. Slightly raise the roof. Important. Don't forget their water. Okay. So now that your water is in, <laughs> now you can put your little tortoises in. Geez, how can I forget that? Almost forgot to put their water in this morning too. So, I'm going to start out with my first Russian tortoise, Boris. I had him for nearly a year. Then this is Sheldon. I've had him for almost half a year. I'm going to put him down right there while I put him in there. So, as you can see, this is their usual setup. Nothing new. So yeah, that's how to set up a tank or an enclosure for your, for your Russian tortoise.